Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Marvelous Monday. I don't know about you, but I'm just so grateful how God is so good. Man, didn't we have a powerful time in our virtual time on Sunday morning at 7 a.m. And then we're so grateful at 9 o'clock a.m. You join us here at the Fountain. We had the Reverend Dr. Samuel B. Reeves from the Providence Baptist Church of Monrovia, Liberia. Thank you again, Dr. Reeves. It's a wonderful opportunity to partner with you and your congregation as we do the work of ministry together. Today, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to go with me to the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, verses 12 through 20. A powerful word. This is where John, who's on the Isle of Patmos, gives to us a powerful message that we need to hear from God. It is said that when John was on this Isle of Patmos, he received this revelation from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he was to share with all of the churches of Asia Minor and a word that was not only for them, but a word that's pertinent for us today. Notice he tells us in this text, God says his holy people must endure persecution patiently. You know, in this world in which we live, we always want to rush through everything especially things that are uncomfortable. It is oftentimes that you and I, whenever we're in an uncomfortable situation, we want to sing that song and pray that prayer, get me out Jesus, get me out today. We want pain to only last for just a fleeting moment. We don't want trials or tribulations to be consistent. We don't want them to be constant, but we want them to end in just a matter of moments. Now we find out John on the Isle of Patmos, he reminds them to endure persecution patiently. Well, I believe he says this because he wants us to know that as we put our faith and our trust in God, we must allow God to have his perfect work in us. Remember in the book of James, it tells us, let patience have his perfect work in you that you might be perfect and entire wanting nothing. I believe there's a nugget of truth to be found in here for all of us that God will tell all of us that he loves us. He cares for us, but he also knows that we will not always have days of sunshine. That will be days of rain. That will be joy. That will be pain. That will be sadness. There will be moments of happiness. But in the midst of all of this, we must allow the spirit to lead God and abide. He reminds them, do the hard work that God has given to you. Continue to do all the work that God promised he will give to us. You know, the Bible reminds us and Jesus tells us those who live godly in Christ Jesus shall, per shall suffer persecution. But he also reminds us that a better day is coming. Oh, when you and I read this passage, we find out that a better day is coming because God is going to reap a harvest. That's why it's important for us to sow the seeds. We sow the seeds in the moments and times when there's sunshine. We sow seeds when it's rain. We have to cultivate the ground. We have to make sure that as we meet individuals, we share with them the goodness of the Lord because harvest time will come. You and I need to share the good news of the gospel to everybody that we meet to let them know that God loves them. God has a wonderful plan for their lives and we want them to be in the harvest with us. That is in heaven. You know, the text tells us that when the farmer goes to cut the crop, when he has the sickle, he will separate the wheat from the shed from the chaff. All the things that were weeds will be thrown into fire there to be destroyed. This is the symbolism that those who have not received the word of God, they will find themselves burning in the everlasting lake of fire and never be consumed. Let's share the good news of the gospel. Let's tell everyone that God has a great blessing in store for them. But let us not grow weary in our well-doing, because in due season we shall reap if we faint not. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Always know that you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And God has a great blessing in store for you in this year of 20 and 23. It will be bigger and better than you ever thought it would be. And take the Lord with you everywhere you go. And we'll look forward to talking with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. 
Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Fountain.